Where the place upon the heath? There to meet with Macbeth. All hail Macbeth, hail to be Thane of Glamis. All hail Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Cawdor. All hail Macbeth, thou shalt be king hereafter. This supernatural soliciting cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why hath it given me earnest of success commencing in a troop? My thoughts, whose murder yet is but fantastical, shakes so my single state of man, that function is smothered in surmise, and nothing is but what is not. Promised thou art, and caught her, and shalt be what thou art promised. If we should fail? We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place, and will not fail. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? I am settled, and bent up each corporeal agent to this terrible feast. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat-oppressed brain? I see thee yet, in form as palpable as this which now I draw. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses, or else worth all the rest. I see thee still, and, and on thy blade and dudgeon, gouts of blood which was not there before. There is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now over the one half world, nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates, hectates offerings, and withered murder, alarmed by a sentinel, the wolf, whose howls his watch, thus with his stealthy pace, with Tarquin's ravishing strides toward his design, moves like a ghost. Thou sure and firm set earth, hear not my steps which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabouts and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. Howls I threat lips. Words to the heat of deeds, to cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. My husband? I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. As I descended? I. Hark! Who lies in the second chamber? Donald Bain. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh and sleep, and one cried murder that they did wake each other. I stood and heard them. But they did say their prayers and dress them again to sleep. There are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us, and amen the other, as they had seen me with these hangmen's hands, listening their fear. I could not say amen when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing and amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Methought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. 
Macbeth does murder sleep, the innocent sleep, sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care, the death of each day's life, sore labor's bath, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? Still it cried sleep no more to all the house. Gloms hath murdered sleep, and therefore Cawdor shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall it, sleep no more. My worthy dame, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I am afraid to think what I have done. Look on it again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose, give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are as but pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the group with all. 